Boys and girls, welcome to the program Bible Treasure Quest. This is the place to be because right here we meet Jesus at his feet because he gives us his messages for us as we grow up so that we can be more and more like him. And once again, we are going to go to our Bibles and get something that Jesus wants us to get from the Bible. And with me, I have boys and girls who are going to help us to do our activity for today. Let them introduce themselves. My name is Duncan Maina. I am 10 years old and I love drawing. My name is Kayla Monari. I'm 12 years old and I like singing. My name is Elizabeth Jebet. I am 12 years old and I love singing. My name is Mary Keru. I'm 12 years old and I love singing. My name is Triana Nerika. I am 10 years old and I like cooking. My name is Eliaki Mobiero. I'm, I'm 13 years old and I love football. And I'm Teacher Anne. I'm always excited every time we meet together to read from the word of the Lord. And we've been talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And we have looked at various elements that make the fruit of the Holy Spirit. We want to remind ourselves the elements that we have talked about and then I'll go back to give you what we want to conclude with as boys and girls and what God wants us to do as we grow up. What did we learn from Duncan? Love, love. Mm -hmm. joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. And then we looked at gentleness. And finally, we want to look at self-control. When uh, you're told, so what is self-control? When you hear the word self-control, eh? self-control, what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind, Mary? To be disciplined. Being disciplined. Yes, Chebet? To control yourself from your desires. To control yourself from your desires. So it means like the things that we want. So you have to control yourself. Uh -huh. yes. yes, Triana? To control yourself from bad characters. Bad characters. Uh -huh. Yes, Kayla? To, to control yourself from the emotions that you feel. Uh -huh. It also deals with emotions how we react to some issues. Huh? How do you behave? Huh? Sometimes someone just messes with you and then you're like, I should have said something. And then you just keep quiet and then you say, I'll, I'll think something else. Eliakim? So it's, to me, it's like having control of yourself so that you can't mm -hmm. say something hurtful or do something bad. Okay. Boys and girls, sometimes we have to learn to restrain ourselves. Huh? You feel like doing something, but you restrain yourself. You have to restrain your emotions. You have to restrain the desires. Huh? You have seen a nice cake that mommy kept. And then you feel like, um, can I take a bit to test and then you remember, no, mommy said we wait. And then you take your hand back, you move out of the kitchen. You keep yourself busy, restraining yourself. Meaning, it is not just restraining from anything. There are things that no, never bother our hearts. But there are things that we have strong feelings towards. Are we together? So, when we are talking about self-control. We are talking about restraining our emotions, our desires, especially in difficult situations. Where do we find the greatest challenge when it comes to self-control? One aspect in life, which is a challenge to most of us. Huh? Uh -huh. People are thinking, it's nothing from the blues. Yes, Eliaki? To control yourself from beating your enemy. To control yourself from fighting. Eh? Some of us have a challenge in that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Triana? To control yourself not to say bad words. Control what you speak. Yes, Chabet? Controlling yourself from like stealing, 
for example, when mom keeps fish in the fridge and then you want to go and take it. You see? Food. Food. Huh? Food is something which is a great challenge to us. And boys and girls from the Bible, we want to learn something. And I hope you are ready for our activity for today. Are you ready for our activity? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Now, take your positions and we do our spelling activity for today. Boys and girls, at Bible Treasure Quest, we go right to the Word of God. And we get everything from the Bible. And I've opened my Bible to get something here. This is a man of God, a trusted man of God. God gave him instructions on what to do. But because he was angry, because he was angry with the children of Israel, because they were complaining all around him, because they were complaining all around him, he got tired and he got angry. And God told him to do something. What did God told him to do? What did God tell him to do? What did God tell him to do? What did God tell him to do? He got angry. The children of Israel were thirsty and they were like, we, you want us to die of, of thirst here in the wilderness? God told him to do something. What did God tell him to do to the rock? What did God tell him to do to the rock so that they could get water to drink? It's not easy to be in a desert without water. So people were making noise around him and God told him to do something. What did God tell him to do to the rock? What did God tell him to do to the rock? Hit. God told him to do what? To hit the rock. To hit the rock. God told him to do yeah. something. What did God say? To strike the rock? Mm. Hit. Shoo. No. God told him to do something, boys and girls at home. What did God tell Moses to do? Moses was supposed to speak uh, to the rock. We are right. we are Moses was supposed to speak to the rock, but, but you know what boys and girls, because Moses was angry with the children of Israel, he hit the rock, he hit the rock, because he was angry, so he lost his temper and he could not control his temper, so he hit the rock instead of speaking to the rock. Boys and girls, God wants us to have self-control because when we don't control our emotions, then we do wrong things from the instructions that we have been given. This is a very close friend to Jesus. And for years, they walked with Jesus, moved around with Jesus. And when he realized that Jesus was in danger, he came out to defend Jesus. He came out to defend Jesus. And this was Peter, a very close friend to Jesus. He came out to defend Jesus. And when he saw like Jesus was being taken, he cut the ear of one of the people who had come to pick Jesus. Who, what is the name of this person whose ear was cut? What is the name of this person whose ear was cut? Boys and girls, we are living in a world where people cannot control their temper. And even around us, we hear people. Uh -huh. Who was that? That is Peter. Cut the ear of Malchus. Boys and girls, we need to control our actions. Sometimes even if it means you have to defend yourself, you don't have to defend yourself even by using the the knife or anything. And we are living in a very bad world, but we are trusting God that we can have self-control even on how we use whatever that we have, even when we are defending others. And this is a boy in the Bible. The wife of the boss was enticing him, 
over and over and over again because the wife of the bo of the boss looked at him and then he saw this is just a fine young man very handsome because he was still young very handsome and the wife of the boss was enticing him so that they could make love who what, what who this wife was whose wife was whose wife whose wife was this who who was the enticing joseph who was that pontifar that is the wife of pontifar pontifar's wife and we have to confirm our spelling teacher, 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 we teacher, have to confirm the teacher, spelling teacher, is right teacher, teacher. Yes, that is p o t i yeah. p h a r yes p h a r p o t i p h a r pontifar's wife boys and girls people may entice us even to sexual emotions but we need to learn to say no then there were these boys there were these three boys they were taken captive from their home to a new place and in the new place there was a menu always served and people thought like that is what everybody should eat even now sometimes we are welcomed to different families and then once we are there we are like oh we need who are these boys they are called some boys who are these boys these are the hebrew boys the hebrew boys even if they were far from home they had to stand firm for the truth of what they had learned and they had learned about how they what they should eat and how they should protect their body for, as they consider what to eat and what to drink okay it's time for questions and answer it's time for questions and answer the question to this group he spared the life of his boss he spared the life of his boss and not that they that they were in love with the boss ah uh, they were not in good terms even the boss was looking for him to kill him the boss was looking for him to kill him and this time this boy caught the boss sleeping and it was the right chance he could just kill and he's done with him but he was like no i can't touch the anointed of the lord whose life was spared whose life was spared yes triana king souls king souls life and who spared his life who spared his life chebet david david self control huh? sometimes someone hurts you and then you are like nitakupata huh so you want another corner where there is no teacher you work on that person that is not self control a question to this side here yes. okay. this side this is a man who could not control his emotions of anger and guilt he could not control his emotions of anger and guilt and because of that he decided to hang himself he decided to hang himself who is this eliakim judas is called judas judas sold jesus for just 30 pieces of silver and he realized later he did something so wrong you know 30 huh? money he could not control he was like 30 bob that's a lot 30 pieces of silver that was a, a lot of money but now he felt guilt and he could not forgive himself and he hanged himself which was something wrong what he needed to know was that once he goes back to god god could forgive him next question next question this is a boy in the bible who was born to be a blessing to his community but he could not control his emotions of love even he went out he went out to get love from heathen land 
and he turned bad on him. He was a son to which man? He was a son to which man? This boy who never controlled his love emotion until he went to look for a lady from another place. And he turned out to be a whole mess in his life. Whose son was this? What was the name of the father? This boy was Samson. What was the name of the father of Samson? Yes, Rihanna. Joab. Joab. What was the name of Samson's dad? Right at Bible treasure as we go to our Bibles, Mary. Jeroboam. Jeroboam, boys and girls. That is Manoah. Manoah, that is Manoah. The question to this group. The devil tempted him in the wilderness. And the temptation was testing him on self-control because he was hungry for 40 days and 40 nights. And if it were you, you could just eat anything you meet. This was temptation number what? That Jesus faced. This was temptation number what? Where the devil tempted him. On food. Yes, Eliakim? Number one. That was temptation number one. Temptation number one. Daniel was told a decree was passed that nobody should worship the Lord God in heaven. Everybody should worship the king of that place. And for him, he could not stop that because he said, I'll have to worship my God. He went to his room, opened the window and prayed. Who is this king who signed the decree? that no other god should be worshipped. Who was this king? Who was this king who signed the decree? Yes, Duncan? Ahab. Ahab, who was this king? Who was this king, Chebet? Josiah. Josiah, let's move, Eliakim. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, boys and girls, that is King Darius. He signed the decree that nobody should worship any other god. And the last question. King David was at the balcony of his house. And then the eyes were wandering around. And then there was someone out there. So he admired that woman. What was the woman doing? What was the woman doing? What was the woman doing? Kayla? Bathing. Bathing. Self-control. Boys and girls, we're going for a short break. See you right after the break. Let's learn about self-control and listen to the music. Wide, wide as the ocean, high as the heavens above. Deep, deep as the deepest sea, is my Savior's love. I, though so unworthy, still am a child of His love. For His word teaches me that His love reaches me everywhere. High as the heavens above Deep, deep as the deepest sea Is my Savior's love I, though so unworthy Still am a child of His love for his love teaches me that his love reaches me I hope you called your friends to join you right here at Bible Treasure Quest. And we are looking at self 
control as the fruit of as the element of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And so far, we have been trying to see how can we restrain ourselves from the emotions and difficult situations. Have you ever gone through a difficult situation that you are like, you need to react? Huh? You need to react. That you really needed to restrain yourself. Have you ever gone through a difficult situation? You know, when we talk about self-control, it's not about uh, you have seen uh, huh? a shoe and then you avoid stepping on the shoe. That is not self-control. Are you seeing that? It is difficult situations. Things that are really involving even your emotions. Have you ever gone through such circumstances in your life? Uh -huh. Eliakim. Hey, one day in school, uh, my teacher was caught a child sending my, my desk met a letter, so he suspected I'm the one liking the person who we wrote. Uh -huh. But it was. How did you feel? Eh, and I felt like beating up the teacher. You, you felt like beating up the teacher, you see? That is, the, those are the realities we are talking about. At, treasure, at Bible Treasure Quest, we say the truth of everything that we feel in our hearts, okay? The friend was writing a letter to someone he or she was liking, and then they thought it was him. Uh-huh. So, who else? At a difficult situation that really required you to have self-control. Yes, Chebet. One day, someone said something very bad about me. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like beating up the person, but I did not. You did not. Quiet. You just like, oh God, just help me. Eh? Huh? Huh? I, I, let God hold me back. Uh -huh. Yes? Uh -huh. Kayla? Yeah. When uh, my, my mom mm -hmm. kept food in the... Yeah? Uh -huh. I wanted to take the food, but I controlled myself. Uh -huh. So you had to run away, you know? <laughs> Boys and girls, girls, food is a problem. Even it is a problem to teacher, especially when you're hungry. Huh? You know, sometimes we keep something huh? and then we say, we are not going to take this. Even me, I say that in my house. We are not going to take this fruit until this given time. And then you're like, eh, I just feel like I need to take, eh, especially just a pineapple. Huh? a pineapple and then the smell huh it's so nice it's attractive and then you feel like should ja, should i pick but i remember you know i've told my babies we are not taking and then i say oh god help me to control myself as a mommy so that my kids don't say mommy you have taken see sometimes it's so hard you know these things even teacher goes through such challenges Boys and girls, we want to go to the Bible. We see some of the experiences in the Bible of people who had to learn to control themselves. And we will look at three important aspects of self-control. Those are not everything. But we want to learn what, what should we learn on how we can control what we speak. Okay? our speech sometimes in life have you ever said something to someone until you feel like i wish i never said that have you ever done that yeah. what did you ever say to someone that you regretted afterwards what did you ever say hey we are nice babies boys and girls at home i don't know what you have ever told a friend and then you regretted you are like can i pick these words take them back to my mouth and then i swallow them mm -hmm. huh? have you ever said something that you ever picked you see that is why we say self-control begins even with what we speak from our mouth because even right here in public we cannot say such words why because they hurt and god wants us as his children to be careful with what we speak. 
You know, there is one problem we have with the tongue. The tongue is like a sword. Once we get words out, you can't take them back. But the injury that they cause in someone's heart, the scar remains. Someone can forgive you, but it remains. That is why the first thing that we need to request God to help us is what we speak. God to give us self-control on what we speak. Sometimes someone may abuse you, big, big words. And even you, you have bigger and better words. See, we have bigger and better words. Yes. We don't want to give such examples here. Yeah, we may be giving examples and others speak that. Huh? You have bigger and better words. So when someone is saying, and even you, you are responding. Huh? And then another friend tells you, now say this one. And then you're busy, you say. And then at the end of the day, you go back, is when you think, oh my God. I said all that, we need to learn to control what we, we speak. In the Bible, the three Hebrew boys left home, went to a new environment. Mommy and daddy were not there. And they were presented with the king's food. Wow, sweet, delicious, and attractive. But one thing they had learned from their home, what to eat. They looked at that, they said this, no, we will take the fruits and we will take water because there was wine. Around us right now as we speak, how many of our friends take drugs? Several, several. How many take alcohol? Several. And sometimes they may come and tell us, it is just a sip. Huh? You know, even the Hebrew boys were told by the man in charge, the king has said, and he will finish me. But they said, no fear. Let's just take water and the fruits and the vegetables and wait for 10 days. They stood firm self-control your friends can come your mommy will not know just have a sip what will you say we need to learn to control what we eat what we introduce into our body boys and girls life is changing around us the bible is clear to us we have to be steadfast we have to restrain ourselves from wrong things that can intoxicate our body. I want us to go to the book of Genesis. The chapter is 39 and we look at the life of another boy. Joseph has been taken captive. He has been taken to work in Potiphar's house and he was told do everything around this house. And then there comes Pontifar's wife. And sexually entices Joseph. Joseph could have as well said, otherwise, let me check. Who is around? Nobody is around. And then he says, I can just kiss her. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we kiss behind the door when the teacher is not there. True or false? Hmm? False. 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 False, yeah. Sometimes we write letters. False. We write letters, not all of us. Sometimes we write letters and tell someone, you know, I love you, because that is part of growing, okay? Because that is part of growing. Even the Bible says Jesus grew both in body and in wisdom, gaining favor with God and man. So even the body was changing also. Okay? Even as we are going through changes. And when those changes come, our bodies respond to those hormonal changes. Okay? We realize someone is beautiful. We feel like telling the person, you're so beautiful. Okay? And then sometimes... And then Joseph was like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. And then the woman was like, no, come here. 
And what did Joseph do? Joseph ran away because he was like, I can't do this before my God. Boys and girls, we are living in a world where everything around us has a sexual connotation. How many times do we meet with our friends with their phones? Hmm? Our friends have phones and then they bring some things for us to watch. Hmm? What are some of the things people watch on phones? Hmm? Some things? Yes, Jenna? Cartoons. Cartoons. Yes, Mary? TikTok. TikTok. Yes. M music. Music. Likey videos. Uh -huh. mm, okay. And then there's one we are leaving out, pornography. Uh, in its own form. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Cindy, oh? <laughs> and then we look at it, and then we are like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And then we look at it and then we are like, uh, I think I can try it. I think I can try it. What does the Bible say? What did Joseph do? He, he did what? He restrained himself and he ran away. Boys and girls, self-control entails a lot. Everything around us may be calling us to do something wrong especially in difficult situations. Be it a friend pulling you to sexual involvement, someone calling you to take drugs, sometimes you want to speak something wrong, I pray for grace, we restrain ourselves because God can give us power. Triana, read the key text. Uh, text. Our key text for today comes from the book of Sec 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse, verse 7 and it says, For the spirit that God has given us does not make us tim timid, instead his spirit fills us with power, love and self-control. Boys and girls, right from the Bible. The Spirit of God, God gives us His Spirit, does not make us to be timid. So we need not fear to control ourselves. But Himself, the Spirit of God, gives us power and love and also self-control. You can't control yourself on your own. You need power from above. And I know we can make it to control ourselves because Jesus wants us to have self-control. What have you learned today? Yes, Kayla. I've learned that you should, you should have self-control even if it's so hard, you should learn to control ourselves. Okay. Tibet? We should be like Joseph who had self-control and not like Judas Iscariot who did not have self-control. Okay, Eliakim. <laughs> I've learned that if you're with God, if you're with God, even the tempting, you can have overcome the temptation. Even the temptations we meet, we can always overcome. Duncan, I request have... God to help us to have self-control in all aspects of our life. Let's believe and pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have given us. Teach us to be good children but not to be Judas Iscariot. Teach us to be as like Daniel, who was with self-control, who ate properly foods which did not affect his body. Please teach us even in this world to be your son. Even in the book we have read Galatians 2, may it help us. May you provide us with power, love, and understanding. For this is my humble prayer in Jesus' name. I'm prayed, trusting and believing. Amen. Boys and girls, we can always restrain ourselves by the power that comes from the Spirit of the Lord. And may God give us grace to develop self control. And from here, we want to say bye. See you next time. <laughs>